Hey everyone, Aria Labs here with the blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is the Timex Marlin Automatic. This is the second modern version of the Marlin. Timex originally came out with a reissue of kind of the original Marlin in a case that was 34 millimeters wide um, that for a lot of guys was small even though some guys liked it and it had a manually wound movement this is the marlin automatic which has uh, both an automatic movement and a larger case size of 40 millimeters wide and these are the debut pieces there's four different versions i'm sure more will come and this is a great watch especially for the money you can think of this as sort of an all-purpose dress style watch and in a lot of ways it's not a timex that a lot of people are used to it's definitely more um, retro in its design, but it also has a modern elegance to it. It's uh, minimalistic, but it's also very functional. And I think a lot of people um, can easily graduate into a timepiece like this if they had something that's sort of a lot more basic. And if you are a watch lover and you don't wear dress watches very often, you want something kind of cool and fun, this is a very inexpensive way of having a, an all-purpose dress watch. I really like the case design, and I'm showing you here some of the interesting angles that might be difficult to see. Uh, if you were just looking uh, at the watch head-on. You can see that it's very fluid in how the acrylic crystal um, integrates with the bezel, which integrates with the overall case. It is a very good-looking case, again, especially at others in this price level. You can see the uh, display case back, and there is the Japanese-made uh, automatic mechanical movement. Really nice uh, strap options as well. They use really good leathers. Like, again, again as I said, um, considering the price point, there's probably not a lot else out there that has as good um, leather straps. So let's put the Marlin Automatic on. This has sort of the burgundy red dial that's a little bit metallic. Um, I quite like it. Very good proportions there. It's a little bit on the thick side, but again, it gives it some personality. Let's put on the one that I think is kind of cool because it's a uh, silver dial. <clears throat> And again, what Timex does, which I like, is they don't <clears throat> share parts. So for example, this has black colored hands, whereas on this one you can see the more silver hands. So a lot of detail went into making sure that each of these watches is done correctly. This is probably the most legible one. And I'm not sure that if I was wearing it, I would put it on the brown strap. I think there's a lot of other really cool strap options that would work with this style, especially a gray colored strap. Wouldn't that look neat? This is the one that has a gold tone to it. So it's, of course, it's still steel, but it's gold tone. And again, the hour markers and hands are also gold tone. And mixed with that black, this is probably one of the most retro looking of the bunch. But I think that'll do well because it has a little bit of the flashiness of the gold color. Um, and it also satisfies a lot of different looks. I can see these being watches for both men and women, um, even at that 40 millimeter wide size. So again, this is the Timex Marlin Automatic Collection. This is a new for 2018 um, collection of watches from the American brand. And I think they did a really good job. Price for each of these is 249 bucks, And you can see the full review on a blog to watch. Thanks.